questions for Tanner? Hey, Tanner, talk about looking back over the game, just uh, what you what you learned as you look back at looking back at it. Yeah, it was, you know, it was interesting. You know, we played well. You know, put put up a lot of points, but even then, I still feel like there was so much more we could have done. You know, just watching the film, a lot of plays that I think we left down the field. Um, you know, some missed reads, some you know inac inaccurate passes here and there that we you know we could have done even more. And, and I think, especially on third downs, we were, we were only 33 percent on third downs. So, you know, a lot of drives that could have been extended. Um, fortunately, we were three for three on fourth down, which helps. But um, I just think, you know, we're we're happy with the result, obviously, and and the progress. But there's just still so much more. To, to be had. So, you know, that's good though. You know, you, you never want to be satisfied or content. So, you know, we're, we're aware that um, you know, we're taking some steps in the right direction, but uh, there's definitely more that can be done. So it's a good thing. We talked last week about, you know, making the reads and, and you know, trying to not follow guys and reading the eyes. Just wondering about, wanted to ask how difficult is it to gauge like ball speed, like how fast to throw the ball, how hard to throw it during a game? Because <laughs> yeah. a couple of throws that might have been there if the ball was a little softer or whatever or something. Yeah, that's that's, that's just something that comes with time, like in just practice and, and mus muscle memory. Sometimes you, you just, the, the throw itself is almost like the last thing, like it, it, that's, that just comes, it just comes with it. So every now and then you'll, you know, you'll miss, you might be a little bit off, but um, you know, just gotta, continue to kind of get in a rhythm um, you know once, once that rhythm comes then uh, then the confidence increases and, and uh, so it was you know I feel like there's some good throws um, you know watching the film there's some good ones and then obviously some ones that they you know, weren't the best but um, you know that happens so you know I'm excited definitely um, hopeful moving forward you know to just to keep keep the momentum going and hopefully you know get after it this week right out of the gate you were able to stretch the defense with one pass yeah to, to Jonah how much does that help do you think that helped maybe lose well yeah the first first drive was great you know the long one to Jonah um you know just marched down the field you know touched on to Micah and just, and then you know the special teams caused a turnover and we scored right away with you know to Bushman so right away kind of setting that tone getting that energy momentum going was huge and uh, yeah, soften the defense up a little bit, um, and then um, you know we were able to take advantage of some of the openings that they were giving us and some of the soft, softer coverage. But um, yeah, that first drive definitely was a good, um, good way to start it off and kind of you know get the team excited, get the crowd into it, and um, you know it was good for us to to start out like that. Is the mood of the team change after kind of getting the win after? I think you know everyone's in a good mood. You know everyone's excited. You know just just because we've been working hard. You know we've been putting in a ton of work, so it feels good to have that. Um, you know just pay off a little bit. You know to see some of the the fruits of our labor, so to speak. So um, and then also it's it's uh, it's motivating. You know because now that we've we've done that, kind of like I mentioned before, we've we've seen the progress and we've seen how much more there could be. So guys are excited. You know to, to get back at it today and get back at it this week to to be even better. So. Um, you know, a win always as a team, good. You, you spread the ball around a lot of different receivers, tight ends, running backs. Is that what this offense needs to be efficient? To be able to find a lot of different spots on the field? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think, um, you know, you got to have guys all over the field that can make plays. And, and, you know, especially out of the backfield, you know, running backs got to be able to catch the ball. You know, KJ did a great job of that yesterday on Saturday. Um, you know, and then different receivers, different tight ends. And it's, it's just nice being able to have that. Um, you know, it's it's um it, it it makes my job easy knowing that I can you know go to any guy in the field at any given time and and they can you know they can step up and make plays. So it kind of just depends you know on, on the hot hand and um you know who's who's getting open who's who's creating space. So I thought the receivers did a pretty good job of that on Saturday of, of um, you know finding openings, um, you know getting getting to the right spot and um, and and then also making plays in, in traffic. You know so that's what we've needed. Um, you know, so Mike had his two touchdowns, you know, were pretty contested. Eleven had a tough one down the field and um, you know, that's what we need, you know, guys who are gonna step up and, and go and make those catches. In terms of record, Fresno's probably the best team you talked about the schedule. What do you make of the Bulldogs? You know, they're a good team, you know, the obviously I think you know, they just had a little bit of an upset on, on Saturday. Um, you know, so that's gonna, you know, motivate them and, and they're gonna come out, you know, come out swinging, ready to go and uh, yeah, you know they're they're a good team. You know, they've done well this season, and um, athletically, 
you know, looking at their defense, they've got some good players, you know, some pretty good um, defensive linemen, you know, some pretty good linebackers. Their, their front seven is going to be a test for us, going to be a good challenge. Um, you know, so uh, definitely got to be able to, you know, take Saturday and then build from there, you know, not not be content with just getting a win, but now we got to step it up even more, um, you know, because Fresno is a good challenge, good team. Would you rather face a team coming off a loss because their confidence is nicked or coming off a win because they might get complacent? Wait. Either way, I mean, it, it's tough because it, when teams are winning, they're confident, you know, and, and they, they, they're, they're finding their rhythm, they're finding their groove, um, you know, so that, that helps them a lot. But then when they're coming off a loss, they're, they're, they're um, coming out, you know, with some extra motivation because they want to get back on track. So it, it depends on the team, you know, it just depends on the, their, their chemistry, their makeup. Um, so I, I, I don't know how, you know, Fresno is going to respond, but, you know, I think They've been having a good season, you know. They, they definitely have shown that they uh, they're a good team. So you know, not gonna um, you know take anyone lightly at all. You know, you know, especially in our position. You know, we're we're fighting for for victories every week. You know, we're doing everything we can to you know get get some more wins in that win column. So um, you know, just we're just excited you know to build off of Saturday and, and you know go and go to Fresno this week. Any other questions for Taylor? We've had a lot of guys at running back miss games. Injuries or other reasons. How much confidence do you have in the run game right now? Well, good. I think Saturday was was great. You know, our offensive lineman got a lot of push, created a lot of space. Um, you know, and, and then regardless of who was in, we were we were getting some big big gains. You know, um, you know whether it was KJ Burt, um, Squally, you know Austin Defenses at the end. Uh, you know, so I think what what it comes down to is is our line. You know, that's that's where it starts. You know, as, as long as they're creating space. And then I'm confident in our guys that are running our running backs to find to find holes and get some, you know, create some some big plays for us. So, you know, regardless of who's in, I you know I feel good about it, and and, and they know that too. You know, that room is kind of, you know, a little bit, you know, they're kind of some wounded warriors in there. You know, get guys are getting banged up, but next next man up. You know, Braden Abakri's taking on more of a running role a little bit, and he stepped up and made some plays. So guys are ready. They know that you know if someone gets. Uh, you know, a little bit hurt here and there. They they got to step step up and and make plays. So they they're ready to go, and I'm confident in them.